What's up guys? We're back with another educational video and this week we're talking about a new study on resistance training and fasting. But first, like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So there was a new study that was just published on the effects of fasting and the timing of resistance training. So this is a really cool study. They took Muslim men during the month of Ramadan where they're fasting from sunup to sundown and they looked at did the timing of resistance training matter for these individuals? So they had I believe 20 people in each group and in the fasting group they had them train in the mid to late afternoon while they were still fasting and in the fed group they had them train like relatively late at night after they'd had a meal or two in them. And they wanted to look at whether or not the timing of resistance training in relationship to their fasting affected their hypertrophy and strength. So this study was four weeks long for the testing period and then they did do a follow-up three weeks later. So they took measurements 24 hours before Ramadan started, 15 days after it started, on the 29th day, which I believe is the last or close to the last day, and then they followed up uh, 21 days later after Ramadan had ended. So what did they find? Well, they found that on the 29th day, when they compared strength as assessed by a squat max between groups, the group training in the fed state had a significantly bigger improvement in their squat one rep maximum than the group that was training fasted. Now, this is important because there were some previous studies from Grant Tinsley where they looked at the effect of basically your 16-8 fasting fed protocol, like your typical intermittent fasting protocol, which is 16 hours of fasting and eight hours of feeding, and found that there were no difference between groups. But in those studies, they were having them train during the fed state. Now, I don't want to overblow this because this is only one study, but based on this study and based on the previous studies, it appears that if you're going to do intermittent fasting, you might be better off training during your feeding window. I will say, I know some people, particularly, typically women, will prefer to train in a fasted state when they wake up because they just don't like how food feels on their stomach. I think women like to look good and, oh God, I hate using this word, toned when they go into a gym uh, and are training. And I think perhaps like the psychological stress for some people about feeling bloated from eating or whatnot may actually make them perform worse. So again, your mileage may vary. You have to do what you feel is going to be best for you in your particular situation. But if the goal is the most amount of strength, then I would be training during your feeding time. Now, I will say they did not see differences in cross-sectional area uh, during this study, which is basically like, um, you know, skeletal muscle mass. However, it's important to point out that this was only 29 days. It is very, very difficult to see differences in the actual cross-sectional area of a fiber when both groups are training in a one-month period. So is it possible there's no difference? It's possible. But if one group is getting stronger over time and able to create more progressive overload over time, we should actually see differences in hypertrophy. So I would say, even though this particular study says there's no difference in skeletal muscle mass, I would say if your goal is to be the strongest, most muscular human being you can be, you're probably better off making sure that if you are doing intermittent fasting, that you are training in that feeding window. All right, guys. You know, one of the things I really love about our app, Carbon Diet Coach, is you're not pigeonholed into a certain style of diet. You're not pigeonholed into a specific meal number. You have the flexibility to do nutrition the way you like and whatever produces the best adherence for you, but we still provide you with the guidance and taking the messy guesswork out of what calories should I eat, how many macros should I eat for my goals, and we take all the messy guesswork out of adjusting those based on how your own body is progressing as you're striving towards that goal. So let us take the guesswork out of it. It's only it's less than $10 a month and you're getting customized nutrition guidance, but on your terms in terms of what you enjoy and what you wanna implement as a nutrition strategy on a dietary preference basis, as well as meal frequency and timing basis.
All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.